everyone weekly basket here i know i'm a bit late in upload and doing this but i thought i will still shop through my makeup for this week and share with you guys the makeup products that i'll be using for this week so let's dive in i have them here in my little basket and my goal is to try to fit everything in i'm just gonna pull out items some were from last week and then some are new altogether. and i actually were able to de was able to declutter a couple things from my collection that I had in last week's basket that I'll definitely be given away because I know I will not be using. I have my City Color Primer Spray. I've been using this and I know that I'm seeing that it's somewhere here. Must warn you, my nails are already jacked up. My son did my nails last week, Wednesday. Um, his birthday was Friday and he said he was doing my nails um, for his birthday and I couldn't take them off and now they're chipping he is like he wants to choose my stuff this week so we have not done that as yet um so you will see this jacked up nails in this video and maybe another one love this um it's a primer spray i use it as satin spray and as a primer spray um for toner i have been using this aloe moisture lotion i bought this at daiso i've used this is like the second or third bottle of this i use i've been using this on and off for years when I say yes, within the last 10 years, and I like it. It does not dry out my skin. Moisturize, I'm still working on this Ultra Repair Cream. It is in the, some of the products that I wanna finish. I've been skimping on it. Oh, the light is glaring. I've been skimping on this because it's almost finished and I love it. And I some days I'm actually um, will use this Pons Perfect Color Complexion Beauty Cream, normal to dry skin bought this at Dollar Tree and I did pick up a couple and this is somewhere here. Face Primer, Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting. I love this stuff. It was last, in last week's basket and you'll be seeing it in future baskets. I'm not sure if I'm going to always now feature it because I am going to always use it until it's finished. For this week's foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish in Natural Beige and it's a little light and then this one in LA Colors Truly Matte in Warm Honey. I mix these two together and I use it for my um, feast. Where's my concealer? Okay, concealer is somewhere inside here. Oh, I see it. I was gonna... Concealer is my bye-bye under eye. I want to use this and finish this up so you may see it in future baskets if it's not finished this week. And I've had this forever. I'm sure if you watch some of my older weekly baskets, you would have seen it there. Face powder is my Elf Tone Correcting Powder in Warm. I absolutely have been enjoying this. And I'm going to keep it for just this week and maybe try to add um, another powder that I have that I want to use, um, start using again. I more than likely will um, incorporate it into next week's basket. Contour and powder is my MAC Refined Golden. Was hoping to finish it at the end of this year. That didn't happen, but this is where it's at. And we, it's going strong. Don't know even if I'll hit pan on it. <laughs> it's got going that well. For highlighter, I'm still working on this Precious Petals from Wet and Wild. This is where it's at. I do have around the edges, but again, I don't use a lot of this, so it's just going strong. Blushes this week, I have two. I pulled out my MAC Whole Lot of Love. It's a Pro Long Wear blush. And I also, while I was digging up through my collection, I found one of my blush palettes, which will definitely be in a next week's basket. Yeah, jump start into next week already. <laughs> Then I have my Sleek palette in um, Take a Cheeky Peek. You saw this last week. It's here again because this is just a season to wear a lot of orangish colors. So that's why it's there. Um, eyeshadows now. We are jumping into eyeshadow primer. I hope maybe have one or two other um, face. Do I have any face? I don't know. Stay Benefits Stay Don't Stray. I have that and I have my e.l.f. Putty Primer and my Stay Down Stray, I looked at it and I did pull out the stopper so I know it's coming down to its last, you know, to the end and I just said, okay, rather than keep it in my collection, just use it and just get it out. I also pulled an iPod that I don't have here. It's an e.l.f. iPod. Um, 
can't remember what's it called, but it's like a cream eyeshadow. I use that as a base. I did use it today um, for this look, but I'll be using that this week. And I'm surprised I just, I don't know why I misplaced it. Then I pulled this LA Color Ice Pigment in Glowing. It's a very, um, oh, it's a beautiful color, but it's just, to me, a lot of fallout. And yeah, like it's like a crush pigment. I like it. It's very shiny and it applies better wet. There was one I had before this and I didn't too like it and I give away I give that one away. But this one I kept and I think I may, if it doesn't work well for me again, I may give this one away. I have this palette in my pan, that palette um for this year. It's my keepsakes in beige eyes. I have not Maybe I should do an update on where I'm at with my panda palette. So that will be another video that I can do for you guys. And then I have two eyeshadow palettes here that I pulled out. This is my Inglot palette that I made my own Inglot. This is, yes, this is maybe 10 plus years old. More than that. This is about maybe 13 years old. This was, I bought this when the Inglot store first opened in Adventura Mall in Miami. And within that first month of it being open, I went and I got this palette and I did get a, um, some free gifts and they, they had it discounted because they had just opened. They were just trying to get people in. So I've had it since then, have not used it. I mean, I used to use it a bit, but the colors are still there. I want to see if it's still pigmented and if it will still work. And then this Attractive Scenery Cosmetics. This was a palette that I bought off of AliExpress, I think, some like a couple years back. Oops, that just fell. So I'll have to go get that. But um, yeah, these are beautiful colors for the fall. So I thought I will just pull it out. Um, this one looked like if it has hard pan on it. But I'll check out the others. If not, I'm just going to declutter it. Um, for eyes, still... I pulled my Espresso Last Liquid Eyeliner and my MAC Technical Liner in Smooth Maneuvers. And for brows, I've been using my Colourpop Brow Pencil in Bangin' Brunette. And then I have two mascaras here. I have my Maybelline The Falsies Volume Mascara and my Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt, which I love this stuff. For lips, I have a couple, and I wanted to put a couple more, but I didn't. I have four lip liners, and sorry for the noise. This is Jordana Quick Liner in Morvi. This is almost finished. My Maybelline in Bordeaux. This is a... Uh, which brand is this? It's in Nude Pink. It's... I don't know which brand. Lip Liner Long Collection, I think. But it's like a nude color and then this one from Ulta in I think color is called Bloom. So different shades and for lips I've been using my Popster Tinted Hello Kitty. I love that stuff. Then this Jeffree Star one in Gemini because you know I want to finish this. My MAC in Up The Amp. Um, the one I'm wearing on my lip is my Sasha. This was here last week and I will keep it ever so often because as I wear these kind of um, orangey kind of colors and golden kind of colors kind of rusted colors I love to grab this lip and then this one from Colourpop in Spritz which I want to finish so that's this week's basket I hope you guys are having a great week if you're using anything new have any recommendations for me any reviews on these things any thoughts leave it in the comment section below love hearing from you guys so until my next video take care